send it to reporter Joe Moeller, who's at the health district. Joe. Well, as this virus causes more concern around the world, the Southern Nevada Health District says they are doing what they can to prepare. Now, the World Health Organization says only about 2 to 4 percent of people who get this virus actually die from it. But at this time, we still do not know a lot about this virus, which is why medical experts say it's never a bad idea to be prepared. The Southern Nevada Health District did establish an incident command system. This is a way for the health district to coordinate a response if needed with local partners. No one in Las Vegas or the surrounding area have been, has tested positive for this virus, but medical experts are glad people are paying attention to it. The medical investigator says the worst thing that could happen is it spreads and people are not aware. I think people are working, are rapidly ramping up their efforts into um, to their like emergency preparedness efforts, thinking about what are those non-pharmaceutical interventions we would implement in our community. So there are a lot of actions that are being ramped up, which I think is exactly right. Now, the health district was going to have testing kits for the coronavirus at the local lab, but the CDC stopped using those kits after issues were reported. As of now, if someone needs to be tested, they will send those samples to another lab. We also caught up with a medical supply store today to see if face masks are still in high demand. The store clerk at Las Vegas Medical Supply says they can't even get them in stock. They have been sold out. And as far as those masks, if they do help you, well, that medical investigator today actually said it's not needed if you are a healthy individual. The things you should be doing are taking precautions like you would for the flu. Reporting live here in Las Vegas, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.